friends. My name is Erica and I am a children's librarian with the Seattle Public Library. And welcome to Early Learning Together, where we hope to give you some ideas to develop your child's early learning skills and early literacy skills. When we talk about early literacy, there are five practices that we're focusing on. They are playing, reading, singing, talking, and writing. And today, we are going to play and go on a litter hunt. Now, letters come in all sorts of ways. They come in different colors, they come in different sizes, they even come in different shapes. And as we look at different letters and finding those letters on signs and on buildings and even natural objects, as we find those letters, it reinforces those letter recognition skills that your kids are building. You're also helping your kids build their phonemic awareness, which is just a fancy way of saying that you're helping your kid know the different sounds that a letter makes. You don't need anything special to go on a letter hunt. If you want, you can bring something with you to keep track of the letters you find. Today, I'm going to bring a card that has the different letters on the alpha of the alphabet on it. And I'm going to bring a marker to keep track on my card. Um, you can do your letter hunt around your home inside, or you can go outside. Today is a lovely day, so I'm going to head outside. Would you like to join me? Let's go. Hey everybody, here I am outside the Northgate branch of the Seattle Public Library. Look at all those letters that just are in the Seattle Public Library. And I'm seeing different kinds of letters. I'm seeing uppercase letters or capital letters, sometimes we call them, and small letters, the lowercase letters. Which ones are capitals and which ones are lowercase? I think we could find them on our card. In fact, what you can do is have two different cards, with one with capital letters and one with lowercase letters, or put them all on the same card. Whatever works for you. And then you can circle them or color them in. What other letters can we find? Let's take a look. Hey, my friends, I found a sign that says enter and entrada. Enter is the English word and entrada is the Spanish word. Kind of cool. And enter, do you see what letter starts the word enter or entrada? The letter E, yeah. So what sounds do the letter E make? It sounds like E eh for enter. But E is one of those special letters that makes more than one sound. It can also sound like its name, E. And your mouth does different things to make those sounds. Eh. Your mouth is just open and a little bit stretched. Eh. Can you try it? Eh. So you can do this with your kids and talk to them about the shapes that their mouths are making, not only on the outside, but on the inside, and what their mouths are doing to make that sound. And to make the E sound, they're stretching their mouths like a smile to make that E sound. So you can do this with your kids and talk about how the letters are made, what they sound like, and what their mouths need to do to make those sounds. And also talk about the different words that begin with those letters. So we have enter or entrada. There's also egg and eel and exciting and elated all sorts of words that start with the letter E and the different sounds that the letter E makes. Let's see what other letters we can find. Look, I found this sign right here. It says book return this way and it has the arrow. Oh, what letter does book start with? Yeah, a B. Can you make it with me? Down, two, bubbles in front. Yeah, there's the B. What else can we find? I 
boy found some letters on the ground right in front of the library. It says, wait here. And these colors are bright orange and they're kind of a different shape because they're painted on the ground. That's cool. Can you do the W with me? We can trace it down and up, down and up, just like that. What else can we find? Oh, check this out. Outside the library, or in the door, I found a sign that says everyone belongs at the library. And there are so many letters on this sign. What letters can we find? And so when you find something, especially like this, that has a lot of letters, you can point to the letters and count how many E's you find, count how many R's you find, and then look at your card, here's our card, and circle the ones we find. You can circle all the ones that we find. What can we find if everyone belongs at the library? I see an E, I see a V, I see another E and an R, I see a Y. So many letters, my friends. Thank you for joining me on my letter hunt, my friends. Now, if you didn't find every single letter, that is okay. You never have to find every single letter in the alphabet on a letter hunt. When you get back, you can talk about the letters that you didn't find and what sounds they make and what kinds of words start with that letter and where in the world you might find those words. The point is to have fun. You also don't need to limit it to just letters of the alphabet. You can do a hunt for numbers. You can do a hunt for colors, shapes, whatever you can think of, whatever you can make into a hunt. Another place to do a letter hunt is in books, of course. One really cool one to find, to check out, is called The ABCs from Space, A Discovered Alphabet, and it's by Adam Voiland. He's collected really neat photographs of our planet taken from satellites in space. And each of these photos shows how our planet can make letters out of mountain ranges and rivers and coastlines and all other, uh, a lot of other cool natural marvels. These images practically beg for kids to find each letter and trace them with their fingers. I hope that you'll check out this really neat book and many other fun alphabet books that we have at the library. Thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. I hope that you have fun on whatever hunt you decide to do, whether it's the alphabet or shapes or numbers or books. See you later, my friends. Bye-bye.